I want to document this leather table. It's a in leather inlay table. I'd like to document it before it falls apart. <coughs> it's kind of old. You see the leather is popping out. A professional could refurbish it. But we're in the middle of the Rona collapse and nobody has a job and everybody's scared to death and they're cowering in their house and the 666 gang is taking over and they're laughing like hyenas laughing all the way to the bank as they push trillion dollar buttons and they hand out a little bit of breadcrumbs to us and we're cowering um, okay i'm not gonna go off on a rant here this story is about a leather inlay table beautiful table has to go way back to 1950. could go 30s or 40s i don't know i mean was it a, a one-off was this a, an artist maybe working out of Arizona, California somewhere who produced these in the 30s, 40s, or 50s? An artist. He, I mean, he put the inlay even in the side of the table, the inlay. We know it's 1960s or 1950s or earlier because of the metal, solid metal. It almost looks like an artist production like an artist he, did, he didn't make very many of these I don't see any signature I'm almost positive this is not factory made we can I guess we can all agree with that this is not off the assembly line factory made no this somebody took a lot of time and effort and they uh look at that leather work Look at that leather work. That's all I'm doing is documenting this before it falls apart. Who knows? A hurricane or a tornado might take it out. It'll be lost forever. So I am documenting this for historical purposes. Maybe there's some artists out there who would like to. Maybe there's some artist out there who is inspired by this. He says, I want to be an artist. I can do that. Some people might say, I can do better than that. Why do, why do this when you can do better? Good luck, America, because you're going to need it. You're going to need it, America. Good luck.